Alrighty, welcome everybody to Minor League Baseball, the show. Well, today we got a good one for you because today is the South Division Playoffs. Well, Midland took the win over the Frisco Rough Riders. 9-2 was the final score of yesterday. And this is what gave the Midland Rockhounds the playoff division. If Midland wins three out of two games, they advance to the next challenge. And that is facing off the Tulsa Drillers for a five-game series. Well, anyway, let's get ready and <clears throat> let's get ready and present the starting lineups. Let's go ahead and do a four o'clock game. Partly cloudy. Nine innings. All right, get out your scorecards as we present tonight's starting lineups. First for the San Antonio Missions. Batting first in center field is Frank Green. Green in center. Ricky Alderson will bat second for San Antonio. Alderson in right. Third base is Alejandro Cardona. Cardona at third. Steven Palacios will bat fourth for San Antonio. Palacios at center. Second baseman is Otto Romo. Romo in second. <clears throat> Shortstop is Evan Hillman. Hillman at short. Left field is James Gufferson. Gufferson at left. Designated hitter is Donald Mariah. Maria de DH. Batting ninth for San Antonio is Billy Mann. Mann at first base. And tonight's starting San Antonio pitcher, Aubrey Swenson. Swenson, today's starting San Antonio Missions pitcher. And now let's give it up for the winners that beat Frisco Rough Riders. The Midland Rock Counts starting lineups. <clears throat> Batting first and second base is Mac Fontenot. Fontenot at second. Designated hitter is Jacob Brugman. Brugman will bat second. Third center fielder is Boog Powell. He'll bat third for Midland. Powell at center. Fourth is Lewis Moda. Moda at third. Center is Maniel Vena. Vena at center. Shortstop is Michael Guerrero. He'll bat six for Midland. Guerrero at short. Left fielder is Preston Shackelford. Shackelford at left. Right field is Scott Hampton. Hampton at right. First baseman is Edmund Alexandra. Alexandra at first. Tonight's starting pitcher is Eric Washington. Washington, tonight's starting Midland Rockhounds pitcher. Now let's get ready and take it to the field as we prepare this five game series. It's time for baseball on MLB Network. Coming up, we've got a good matchup in store between the San Antonio Missions and the Midland Rockhounds. Major League Baseball on MLB Network coming up right after this. Eric Washington, a left-handed Missouri native, is the starter in this one. Dan, any thoughts? Well, as you can see, he's a tall drink of water out there, especially on the mound. That can really work to your advantage because you work on more of a downhill plane 
and you typically get more extension to the plate on your release. The key, though, is that he has to be out front with his release Leading point or he'll be more likely to Center miss fielding. up in the zone. Stepping up to the plate, Green. Frank Green. He will lead this one off today. And we are underway this afternoon as the first pitch is over for a called strike one. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Swung on and missed. Outclassed by that fastball for a strike. <laughs> and this is going to be a foul ball. Another 0-2 home. To first. And he'll take this to the bag himself. And there's your first out of the ball game. Time now to give you a look at the batting order. It's going to be the key for him today, HR. Well, Matt, this game's got to be fun. I mean, they're facing a pitcher who gives up a lot of home runs. Now, as the hitters, will they stay patient? Continue to look for your pitch, because you know he's given up a lot of home runs. And will you stay within yourself and be able to take advantage of when he does make a mistake? Because he will make a mistake. Into the windup and the pitch. Chop foul over towards the dugout. And we expect triple digits later on this afternoon. Already 99 degrees here at first pitch. The wind up and the 0-1. High pop up. Alexander is there for it. Two gone. Batting third. Third baseman, Alejandro. Cardona. Digging in the switch hitter, Alejandro Cardona. First chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. Sends that one out of play for strike one. Ooh, that was a good pitch to hit. He wants that one back. He was just a little bit late on it. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind it one, too. Oh, that's one he's going to want back right there. A fastball right in your wheelhouse, and you foul it. Now he lifts a high pop-up. Drifting into foul territory on the right side. Alexander will put this one away, and the side is retired. Nothing doing here in the opening half inning. So it's on to the bottom of inning number one. No score. Aubrey Swenson, a right-hander from Michigan, is the starter on the mound. What do we need to know here, HR? Well, he's got four pitches to work with and uses them all at all different times in the game. So he keeps hitters off balance and gives you a lot to think about. Stepping up now, Mac Fontenot. He'll lead things off here Bring in the bottom the half of the first. Second baseman, Mac Fontenot. This one's down to third. Cardona takes it in. One away. For the moment now, let's have a look at the home team starting lineup. What are the keys to success for them today, Harold? Well, this is a tough lineup right here. A bunch of young bloods, youngsters coming right at you. They're aggressive. They're excited to be there. And I think they have the advantage because you haven't seen them before as the pitcher. And I know they haven't seen you either, but man, they're coming out of the shoot. First pitch fastball, they're probably swinging. <clears throat> First pitch of the at bat on its way. And now the second pitch is swung on and hit in the air to left. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away Batting now. Third, center fielder, number three. Now at the plate, number three. First cuts for him here with the bases open and two away. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And now for the second batter in a row. This is in the air out to left field. Gustafson is there. And how about that? A three pitch inning as the side is retired. An inning in the books. Scoreless on MLB Network. Now batting, Stephen Palacios. Leading off He'll start Michigan. things out in the top Catherine. half of the second. Stephen Palacios. Here comes the first pitch. Now a swing and a ball popped high in the air over toward foul ground. Vina is under it, and he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. Okay, here's the defense for the home second team, brought to you by Majestic. Otto. 
And let's look at this center fielder. He not only has great range and speed, he may have the best arm in baseball. A cannon. You talk about a frozen rope. You've heard that line of that phrase before, or you can hang laundry on it. Always talked about for hitters, right? What about a guy that throws everything on the line? He may have the best Batting arm back. in the game. Evan Hillman. Ready now, Evan Hillman. Into the windup and the pitch. This ball's hit in the air down the right side and out of play. 0-1. Hit down the third baseline. Uh, this will get foul for strike two. Oh, he's going to want that pitch again. That ball's right down the middle in his wheelhouse. His eye looking at a fastball to end the inning. Digging in, Luis Mota. He'll start things Moving out here in a tie right ball game. Third baseman, Luis Mota. First delivery to him on the way. This is hit down the right field line, but it's going to get out of play for strike one. The windup and the 0 1. And a whiff at a good slider that time. What a good pitch. He went way out of the zone to try to swing and catch up to that slider. Now you got him thinking. It's 0-2. Time for a look at the majestic defensive alignment for the visitors. I'm focusing on the second baseman. You know, they move him around a lot. He's got great hands. I love how he turns a pivot. And he really gives that pitcher a chance when a double play ball's hit that you turn it and get him out of an inning. Hit back up the middle. And into center field as he's aboard with a one-out single. Well, it looks like just a ground ball base hit in the box scores. But, man, that ball is hit hard. hard assistant and keeps that approach. Guerrero. In now, Michael Guerrero as he puts it on the ground to third. The second for one, and nearly a double play. That was closer than I thought it would be, and the inning will continue. Batting seventh, left fielder, Preston Into the box now, Preston Shackelford. He's set, and the pitch. Hit to short. Reined in. Throw on He's to out. second for the force, and the side is retired. So no runs on a hit here, no errors, one man left on. We'll go now to the top of the third, and we are tied nothing-nothing. So stepping in, James Gustafson. He's the number leading seven hitter, mission. but he's leading off the third after the first six James guys in the lineup have been Gustafson. retired in order. Yeah, it's been a great start to the guy on the mound. It'll be interesting to see if they can find a way to get to this guy before he really settles in. And that one right down Main Street. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. Swing and a miss as he starts the third the same way he ended the second with a punch out. One away. Didn't mess around much in that at bat then. No, that was pretty impressive, Matt. I really like a pitcher that trusts and works off his fastball. And right there, he decided he didn't need to use anything else. Three straight heaters and go grab some bench. Into the box, Donald Mura, as he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. He's looking really great on the bump right now. I mean, it's been a while since he's allowed a base runner, and he just jumped ahead of another hitter right there. That's in there, and he's deep in the hole now, 0-2. I guess he's really trying to measure that fastball in his first at-bat, but you really never want to put yourself in 0-2 count if you could do anything about it. Another 0-2 coming. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Waiting on it, the center fielder. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. Batting ninth, first baseman. 
at the plate, Billy, Billy Mann. Mann. And then it seems like this starter is just dominating the game right now. Feels like we're seeing a lot of three up, three down innings. No doubt about that, Matt. Hey, I've enjoyed watching him go about his business, but I'm also interested to see if this offense can figure out a way to get a couple of cracks in his armor before it gets too late. Yeah, that remains to be seen. First pitch hacking here, and that's the first strike. Well, I'm almost shaking my head up here, Matt. Another pitch right down the middle. Now, early in the game, he's getting away with it, but if he wants to have any length in this game at all, he's going to have to get the ball in the corner. Hit out towards second. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. Make it nine straight here to start the ball game. We'll head now to the home half of inning number three, and we are tied nothing-nothing. Now with the plate, Scott Hampton. He'll look to get something going here in this scoreless ball game. Right fielder, Scott Hampton. And here's a ball hit in the air. Alderson is in pursuit. He makes the catch. A great effort to get there and record the first out of the inning. Into the box, Edmund Alexander. Not even close on that swing. No balls and a strike. Wow, that's a high pitch. You know what? The closer that ball gets to your eyes, the better it looks. And guys just hack at it. It's a natural swing. Grounded back up the middle. On to first, and very quickly, two are gone here in the home third. Now batting, second baseman. Digging Mac in to try it again. Fontenot. Mac Fontenot, 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Committed to that one a bit too soon as it locks him up for strike one. Boy, not a good swing there. That was really ugly. Anytime you can make a hitter look like that, you've done something special. Now, did it look to you like he was guessing on the pitch? Oh, certainly it had to be, Matt. But if he was, he obviously wasn't looking for that pitch. Alderson moves over. No trouble with this one. And the inning is over. Ready for another chance. Frank Green back to the top Leading of the lineup the as they're still looking for their first base runner in this one. No doubt Green. about that, Matt. They've yet to figure this guy out on the mound. He's looked great so far. There's a swing and a ball hit in the air and a ball that he got every stitch of as that one, without a doubt, is gone. A solo shot here to left as they get on the board first. It's one to nothing. Well, if you're going to get your first hit of the game, you might as well do it with a bang. He thought he could squeeze one past him, but he thought wrong. Stepping in now, right Ricky Alderson. Ricky He'll swing and lift the ball foul off to the left and out of play. Man, he's flirting with danger. He gave up a home run on that very same pitch, and this time he comes right back with it in another dangerous location. He better be careful. Shackleford has to retreat a bit, but he gets there for out number one. Third baseman, number seven. Digging in for Alejandro his second at bat, Cardona. Alejandro Cardona. One run in and one gone so far this inning. Chopped weakly to the left. Mota <laughs> is there. And the throw is not going to be in time as he's able to reach base safely. Infield single, as innocent as it may sound, that might be a rally starter right there. Into the box now, Stephen Palacios. And he puts it on the ground to second. In time to first, and there are two away. Now batting. Second baseman, Otto Stepping in Romo. and ready for another shot. Otto Romo, he's 0 for 1 thus far. 
He's ready. Here's the first offering. And he takes a pitch right down the middle. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. And this ball is heading for the seats down the right side as the count will move to 0-2 now. This is on the ground over the first. Alexander ranges to his right. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. So they pick up a run on two hits, no errors, and a man left. On now to the bottom half of inning number four. San Antonio's out in front, one to nothing. Striding in once again, number 38 comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Number 38. Hit on the ground out to short. Throw on to first in time, one away. Now batting, number three. Now at the plate, number three. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. First delivery to him on the way. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. And they're going to hold him to a single here as they do a nice job of getting it back in quickly. He just sports that ball off the wall, and now the question will be, should he have continued on or not? He thought about pushing it, I'm sure, but decided to play it safe. It would have been close, but I think this time he's probably right in staying at first. In now, Luis Mota as he lifts it in the air to right field. Moving under it, Alderson. Two gone. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up. Digging in now, Manuel, Manuel Vina. Now a ball hit hard toward first. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Well, this ball's hit off the wall. He hit it awfully hard. Now, I thought it was a good move to stop because a lot of times you go, oh, he's dogging it. Looked like he was going pretty good, but I think they were going to throw him out. Good read to get back to first. Into the box, Michael Guerrero. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. Now, I'll tell you what, I love how he's pitching right now. He has continued to pound that first pitch for strikes. When you do that, you set yourself up for great success. Oh, he's clearly hitting off the fastball right there. You don't hit one that hard if you're not looking for it. Line toward center field. That's in there. Base hit. Throw comes in quickly here, and that'll prevent the runner at third from testing things here. Well, that one's going to load the bases up. They held the runner up. They're really looking for a big inning right here, trying to get a big strike out of the next two hitters coming up. Stepping in now, Preston Shackelford. Liner towards second. A dive, and he knocks it down. And the run will score from third as that ties things at one. Well, that's a nice hit. We're right back where we started with that RBI base hit. The game is tied. Scott Hampton. Striding in, Scott Hampton. Looking to minimize the damage here. Line drive to center field. And that's in there. Base hit. One run scores. Now a good throw comes into the infield, so that will force the second runner to hold on over at third base. Well, he comes up with the big RBI hit right there and puts him ahead in this ball game. If they can keep a lead, get to that bullpen, they got a shot to win this game. Into the box now. Edmund Alexander. He swings and grounds it to short. On to second for the force out, and the side is retired. So they wind up with two in the inning, but it could have been a lot worse as they leave the bases loaded. We played four full. The Rockhounds lead it two to one. Stepping in, Evan Hillman. He'll lead things off here in this one run contest. Evan Hillman. 
swung on and hit in the air. Center fielder on the run. Makes the play one away. Now batting. Settling in now, James, James Gustafson. Gustafson. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Hit weakly back to the mound. Throw gets him, two down. Now batting, the designated hitter, Donald Myra. So striding in, Donald Mura comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. Fastball in there for a called strike. Fifth inning, two to one our score. Zero. Big swing and a miss at the fastball, and he's behind in the count 0 and 2. He's not messing around this inning. He's attacking the zone. He's showing lots of confidence. He's 0 and 2 on this hitter after having two quick outs. Nice job. Grounded to third. Mota moving to his right. Throw to first to get him easily, and the side is retired. So they go down without a whimper here. Last half of the fifth coming up. The Rockhounds are out in front, two to one. Digging in once again, Mac Fontenot. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ballgame. Fontenot. To short, Hillman fields it cleanly, throws in time, and that's out number one. Now batting, number 38. Ready for another shot now, number 38. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. And this is going to be a foul ball in amongst the spectators. And this at bat is quickly moving from bad to worse. It's 0-2 now. <laughs> I'll tell you, if I'm on the hill, I'm throwing that changeup again. Didn't look like he picked it up very well out of his hand. One out, nobody on. Lined hard toward short. On to first, and very quickly, two are gone in the home fifth. Now batting, number three. Standing in, number three, a hit in two tries so far. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Gustafson has a beat on it. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. Nothing doing here this half. Five innings complete. The Rockhounds lead it two to one. Digging in to try it again, Billy Mann. He'll start things out in the sixth for a lineup that really hasn't found its groove in this one. Yeah, only two hits so far, Matt, and not very many hard hit balls either. We'll see if they can start making some adjustments. Well, he's having a good amount of success here, Dan, even though he hasn't really gotten a ton of swings and misses. Yeah, it amazes me how every game you pitch can be so different, Matt. Sometimes it feels like guys can't touch you and you're just punching everyone out. But other times, you don't have your good stuff and you really rely on movement and location to get outs. That's been the case for him today, and it's really working. Skied into straightaway right. Hampton moves over. He's got it one away. Now batting. Digging in and looking for more. Frank, Frank Green. Green. He comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. And he gets ahead here with the fastball. Strike one. And this catches the zone as well. It's 0-2 now. Talk about challenging a guy. He offered up two in a row right down the chute, and the batter didn't even flinch. Got to wonder what he was looking for. Alexander in foul ground, and he makes the catch for the second out. The right fielder, number 19, Ricky Alderson. Ready for another shot now. Ricky Alderson, 0 for 2 on the afternoon so far. Into the windup and the pitch. Now a ball hit in the air to straightaway left. This is carrying well out of here.
A solo shot here to left as we are all knotted up at two. Well, he was on cruise control, just needing one more out to get out of the inning, but he came up with a plan. Base is empty. He didn't have to think about shooting one to the opposite field or shortening the swing to move the runners. He just wound up and let her rip. A solo shot is the result. In now, Alejandro Cardona. And so he'll take a look at the strike right down the middle. It's 0-1. A hit and two tries for him so far. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. And he swings on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. Two quick strikes, and now the 0-2. Popped high in the air. Alexander is there for it. And that's the third out. Just one hit in the inning, but it was a big one right here as it ties the ball game. Bottom of the sixth is straight ahead, and we're deadlocked now at two apiece. Ready for another chance? Luis Mota. He'll step in trying to do something Third about this 2-2 two, two tie. Mota. Right through it here, and he's behind 0-1. You know, that can really be an effective pitch for a guy that has a lot of pop. They're up there looking for a fastball up in the zone, so if you can place it a little above it, they have a hard time getting the barrel up there. High in the air out towards shallow right. Alderson is there. Looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. Now batting, catcher, Manuel. Stepping Vina. in and ready for another shot, Manuel Vina. Couple of singles to his credit thus far. Sent in the air at the straightaway center. In there, the base hit. Well, he's having himself quite a day. Three for three after that single right there. He's putting in some quality work and getting rewarded for it. Michael Guerrero. Standing in now, Michael Guerrero. And here's a ball hit in the air. And that'll get down for a base hit. Oh, he couldn't have thrown that any better. Fastball inside, jams him, and he gets a nice bloop single to reward him. Wow. Shackleford. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. Into the box, Preston Shackleford. And he hits it hard to the right side. A diving try, but he can't haul it in. It's through for a base hit. And they will hold that runner over at third as he'll move up only 90 feet, but the bases are loaded with one away. Scott Hampton. Into the box now, Scott Hampton, as the first pitch to him is swung on and missed for strike one. He's working on a one-for-two game so far. And this one's hit on the ground, but foul. Bases are loaded here, one man out. A fastball up near his dome, and that'll wake you up a bit. Well, giving up hits is one thing, but judging by that last pitch, he doesn't have any consistency with his release point right now. He doesn't know where it's going, and he knows it. <clears throat> Little dribbler down the line. That's a foul ball. I like the pitch right there. Got to chase a fastball out of the zone. I'd come back with it again. <sighs> On the ground to the left side. Uh oh. And that is through into left as he delivers. It's a base hit. One run is scored. Well, sometimes oh, with the runner in scoring position, you just have to put the ball in play right here. It? He hits one into the Perfect. hole, drives in the run, making contact. It pays off. Comes the manager as he'll make his way towards the mound. 
And we're going to have a pitching change as that's going to be Your off for his starter late. this afternoon. Tom Wilkerson is called upon to pitch, really Tom needing that double play Wilkerson. ball. Bases are loaded here with only one man out. In now, Edmund Alexander as he sends it on the ground to first. There's one. Oh, my goodness. Error. And they can't complete the double play. Looked like that might be an inning ending double play off the bat. But that was some great hustle to beat the throw at first. Keeps the inning alive, and more importantly, he gets an RBI because of it. My, they're losing this. <clears throat> Stepping in now, Mac Fontenot. Now a little pop-up off toward the first base side. And no one will get this one. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. Good cut fastball that time, and he's in control now, 0-2. A pause, and the 0-2. Oh, and he dusted him off the plate that time. Some mind games being played now. It's one and two. You know, pitching isn't always about throwing strikes. Sometimes you just need to make sure your opponent isn't too comfortable up there. And that's just what he did right there. Busted and inside with good hard stuff. Here's a pop-up now. Cardona is there to make the catch, and the side is retired. So it's two runs on four base hits. No errors and a couple of men left on. We're through six full. The Rockhounds are out in front, four to two. Back here for Texas League Baseball on MLB Network. It's on to the seventh inning now, but before the inning gets started, let's fill you in on what you may have missed. It's our game summary to this point. Ready once again, Stephen Palacios. Leading off for the He's 0 for 2 thus Catherine. far in this one. Stephen Palacios. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Calling for it, Shackelford. He's got it one away. Now batting. Striding in once Second again, base. Otto, Otto Romo. Romo. 0 for 2 on his line thus far. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Shackelford has it in his tracks. Two gone. Now batting. Digging in once again, Evan, Evan Hillman. It's Hillman. been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. Grounded weakly toward third. Mota charging this one on to first, and it don't come any easier than that. A three pitch inning, and the side is retired. So striding in, number 38. We could really one. use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. First offering on its way. Way in front of a great slider that time. When he is on, that slider is one of the best pitches in all baseball. That's why he's so tough to those lefties. And boy, was he ever fooled on that pitch. It's 0-2 now. This is exactly what they didn't want. Leading off an inning, and he goes up and he's swinging at everything. His balls aren't even close. He's got to make him work a little bit. Swung on and missed. Really fooled him that time for the first out. That's not an at-bat he's going to look back on and be happy about. Obviously, the strikeout result Number isn't three. good, but to go down on three pitches, and none of which were even in the strike zone, as you see there, that's not a good look. Lifted in the air to straightaway center. Green is there, two gone. Now batting, third baseman, Luis Mota. Coming to the plate now, Luis Mota. Into the windup and the pitch. Line to the right side. And that will make him one for four in this one. Well, for such a young hitter, that was a nice piece of hitting the opposite field. Come nice back. to see him Catherine. take the ball the other way. Manuel Vigna.
Into the box, Manuel Vina. And that's another base hit for him. He's on a tear in this one. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Breaking his heart, man. No Breaking his heart. He got two quick outs. He's thinking Michael he's going to cruise through Guerrero. this thing. And now look at him. Boom, boom. Base hits coming back at you. That's why you have to complete the inning. Into the box now. Michael Guerrero. And this will kick off the third base bag. And they won't get an out from this as he's able to reach on a play that you just don't see very the often. Left fielder, number 30, Preston Shackelford. Into the box, Preston Shackelford. Two hits and three at-bats for him in this one. Here's the first pitch to him. There's a swing, and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. Gustafson. Going oh, it's gone. It's a grand slam. Whoa. Way to go, Midland. Woo so he promptly unloads the bases with that one, as it's now a six-run ball game. Just like we did Frisco. We woke him 9-2. When he got the second out, I thought he might come out of this unscathed. But after that towering grand slam, he's about as scathed as you can get. Is that a word? Uh, who cares? It is now. now In now, Scott right Hampton. Scott Hampton. And this is fouled back and out of play. Four runs here in this half inning. to third. Cardona gloves it. And the throw pulls the first baseman off the bag and he's safe at first. Now batting. first and that's what speed does for you. He made the play Alexander. but in the back of his mind he knew he was dealing with the speedster so he rushed the throw and he had more time than he thought too. Midland Rockhounds, eight. San Antonio Missions, Stepping two. Stepping in now, Edmund Alexander. Oh. Oh. oh! And a beautiful diving catch there will end the inning as the side is retired. That's as good oh. a play as you're going to oh. see a second baseman make, and he oh. does it to end the inning. Don't touch that remote. More on MLB Network right after this. Now at the plate, James Gustafson. No hits in Left two fielder. trips to the plate for James him in the ball game. Gustafson. Right down Broadway that time. Strike one. The wind up and the 0-1. Here's a high pop up. Mota is there for it. Makes the play one away. <laughs> the batter. The designated hitter, Donald Mira. So stepping in, Donald Mura. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. Starts the number eight hitter with a strike. Nothing in one. A oh, one pitch on its way. Now a ball hit pretty well to left, but this is going to wind up in the seats foul. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. And another foul ball. Bases are empty. One man out. Now a ball rolls softly to second. Fontenot scoops it up, and he'll whip this one over to first, and he gets his man for the second out. Now batting the first baseman, Billy Mann. Ready now, Billy Mann. 0 for 2 on the afternoon so far. This ball's hit in the air down the right side and out of play. 0 and 1. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Hit well down the left field line, but back into the crowd foul. The 0-2 delivery. 
Strike three called, and the inning is over. Standing in, Mac Fontenot. He'll leave things off one. as they look to perhaps Second build on an one. already sizable Mac lead. Fontenot. Here comes the first pitch. Tap down the line. Foul ball, however, strike one. Now here it comes. And that finds some There's outfield base grass. Yet. It's a base hit. So we'll see if they have something in the works here with the leadoff hitter aboard and a guy that can really handle the bat in the number two spot. Hey, you're not going to do it every day. Number that 30. single right there, that's okay. It makes him one for five. He contributed a little bit, but they really didn't need him today. This has been a nice team effort. Into the box, number 38. As he'll get caught chasing a bad one Come there on. at strike Straight. one. Struggling so far in this one and looking to erase his 0 for 4 ball game right here. Ready with the 0 1. Swinging a ball hit on the ground, but this will wind up a foul ball, strike two. And he'll step off the rubber and go to first. Back in standing. Swung on and missed. He didn't even come close to contact on a ball way out of the zone. One out. Now, now at the plate, number, number three. three. He's one for four for the game. First offering on its way. Swing and a little blooper to center. And that's in there. Base hit. Now at the plate, Luis Mota. Luis Mota. He's set. Here it comes. No contact on the sinker there, and he's behind 0-1. Well, that is a good pitch. A sinker down with that kind of movement, it is really hard to hit. No wonder he swung and missed. Ready with the nothing and one pitch. He sends it out to left field. Well oh, hit. my goodness. And this is turning ugly now as this ball's down for <laughs> extra bases. And a good throw is going to hold that runner at third. So they're loaded now, now with only one away. Manuel Vina. Standing in now. Manuel Vina. Fly ball out toward left center field. Green is there, and that should be deep enough to score the run. And boy, not quite sure why, but they decide not to risk it with two outs on a very deep fly ball. Really surprising. Michael Guerrero. Coming to the plate now, Michael Guerrero. He's working on a three-hit ball game right now. There we go. That'll get it in there. That's in there. Base hit. One run scores. And the second runner will pull up stakes over at third. So one run is in, and the bases the stay loaded with two away. 30, Preston Shackelford. Midland Rockhounds got the San Antonio Missions on the run. Into the box now. Preston Shackelford. As he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty, it's strike one. Three for four so far, and seeing it well in this ball game. A one pitch on its way. Rounded down the third baseline. But this will be a foul ball as he's behind 0-2 now. He put himself in a good position, jumping ahead 0-2 with the bases loaded. Now we'll see if he can finish it off. Now the 0-2 pitch. Again, he sends it out of play. Two out, base is loaded. A swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes, and that will retire the side. So one run on four hits here, no errors, and they leave the bases loaded. We've played eight full. The Rockhounds lead it 
nine to two. Stepping up to the plate, Frank Green, starting Green things for his coming. side in the ninth as they face the improbable oh, odds of trying to come back in this one. Yeah, not a lot of hope for them at this point. These guys know these bats still count, at least for their own stats. You can't mill in your chances as a professional. And this catches the zone as well. It's 0-2 now. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Hampton going back on it at the track. And he tracks it down. Nice play for the first down. Right fielder, Ricky Alderson. At the plate, Ricky Alderson. Into the windup and the pitch. Hit well on the ground to first. Alexander ranges to his left. And a step on first for the out. Three unassisted. Number seven, Alejandro Digging Cardona. in the switch hitter, Alejandro Cardona. Oh. A high fastball is in there. Well, they got a high strike on the fastball right there. That's pretty unusual. Usually early in the count, you're going to see a guy work down in the zone. That high fastball usually the put-away pitch with two strikes. He picks him backwards right here. Popped up. This should do it. Washington has a play. Makes that's the, the game, catch. folks. And that's the ball game. Hey, listen. Rock counts win. Very many complete games any longer because of pitch counts. But listen, he was good from the first inning through the ninth. Well-deserved complete game victory. A 9-2 finish at the end of this contest. Midland brought the bats in this one with 18 total hits. So that's a wrap for this afternoon. For Harold, Dan, and the rest of our crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB Network. Wow. Player of the game is Midland Rockhounds left fielder Preston Shackleford. No errors. They left 10 men on base. For the mission, two runs on three hits. One error. <clears throat> Five RBI, one home run. Way to go. You've earned it, man. Preston Shackleford. Well, anyway, we've got four games left. Who is going to be the champions over the San Antonio Missions? Or will San Antonio step up and claim a win? If that happens, then Midland is going home and not facing Tulsa Drillers. For the championship series of 2017. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment on this video if you enjoyed it. We will be back here for game two of this five game South Division playoff series. So anyway, be safe, make wise choices, and we'll see you again at San Antonio Missions. So long, everybody.